now the next topic is arrays the relation between arrays and pointers and as you can see the arrays and pointers are very much closely interrelated to each other if i declare an array like this int ptr 10 so what does it mean it mean we are having 10 continuous memory locations okay so let us just define what is an array initially so uh, this array so in this array we can uh, get con continuous memory allocation of similar data type right for example if i do int a5 right that means we can uh, this we will be given five continuous memory locations and which all these continuous memory locations are of type integer right and we can access these memory locations for example if i do a0 is equal to 1 that means in this index location 0 we will get the value 1 okay so we'll just just graphically let me just uh, draw this one so if i write int a5 that means this is the variable this is a and these are five index locations okay this is the index location 0 this is 1 2 3 and 4 right and when I do a 0 is equal to 1 that means I am storing 1 into this index location 0 when I do a 2 is equal to 3 that means I am storing 2 in this index location I am storing 3 in this index location 2 therefore I am going to store 3 here okay and when I am saying a 4 is equal to 7 that means I am going to store 7 into this index location 4 so it will store 7 okay so if you look closely to this diagram in most of the books they have given a and this uh, some kind of arrow like this mm -hmm. and they have which arrow that arrow is pointing to this array okay so now let us uh, dig de uh, go deep into this topic and let us see what are arrays in real okay so for example we are having this program int ptr 10 right here that means i am declaring an array and this array is of type integer right and whenever I say PTR10, most of the students confuse that this PTR is the name of this array, right? But this PTR is not the name of this array. This PTR is a pointer which is pointing to the base address or the starting address of these memory locations, continuous memory location more precisely, which are given to this array. Okay? So if you look at this diagram, you will see when I am saying PTR10, right? When I'm saying PTR10, that means we have given some continuous memory allocations, and this PTR is pointing to the base address of this array. Here I am assuming that the integer is of two bytes. So when the integer is of two bytes, that means every index location, uh, the size of every index location is of two bytes because it, it, all these index locations are now, go now going to store uh, any integer number. So if I just number the index location, this is index location 0, this is index location 1, this is index location 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay. So if I set in PTR10, that means I have given this uh, continuous memory allocations. If the base address of this array is 1000, so plus if I, uh, this because it's an integer array, so this size of this box will be 2 bytes. That means next memory lo location will be at location 1002. That means 1000 plus 2 bytes, which is 1002. And the next memory allocation will be at location 1004. The next memory lo allocation will be at location 1006. The next memory allocation will be at location 1008, and so on. That means we are adding two bytes to each index location. Okay. Now, if the size of an in integer is four bytes in your machine, in that case, every box here every all these index location will take four bytes will consume four bytes so address of this next index location will be 1004 address of this uh, next index location will be 1008 and so on okay so here i assume this this uh, base set of this this array is 1000 okay now let us see more examples here so uh, in this program i have taken an array and this uh, the size of this array is 5 that means I am going to store 5 different integer numbers in this array so let us suppose the numbers which are stored are 0, 9, 6, 8 and 7 so therefore these values are stored here at location 0, 9, 6, 8 and 7 this is index location 0, index location 1, 
two, three, four, and these are pointed by this a. Okay. Now, if the base address of this array is one thousand, then n here the size of integer is two bytes. Okay. So the address of this location will be one thousand two. The address of this location will be one thousand four. The address of this location will be one thousand six. The address of this location will be one thousand eight, etc. Okay. Now in the next line, uh, okay. Now this a is now again going to store one thousand. In the next line, I have taken a pointer and I am equating it by with a, right? That means there is a pointer p, right? And I am storing the value of which is stored by a into p. That means I am copying the value. So this value uh, which is stored in a is one thousand, which is an address. So I am storing one thousand into this pointer. Okay. Now the next line I am using printf percent u comma a. So this percent u is uh, used to print unsigned integer. So we can also print the addresses with using this percent u, and this addresses will be printed in decimal format. Okay. Now here I am printing a. Therefore, this statement is going to print 1000, which is the base address of this array. In the next statement, I am doing a plus two. So when I am doing a plus two, this statement is equivalent to saying a is equal to a. Uh, this statement is equivalent to saying a plus two into size of integer. So I just covered this topic again because I have not even covered this topic in the previous sessions. So there's something called as a scalar value. Okay. So what is scalar value? If, for example, we are having a character a, okay, and then we are having character pointer character star p is equal to address of a, okay, and the size of character is of one byte, obviously. So if this is a, and the address of this a is one thousand, and this this is p, which is pointing to the array, that means P is one thousand. Now, if I do P is equal to P plus one, right? So when I'm doing P plus one, that means this is equivalent to P is equal uh, to P plus one into size of character. Okay, and the size of character is one byte. So therefore, this uh, will increment as P is equal uh, equal to P plus one into one. Okay, so this will increment it to one thousand one location, right? Now instead of this one, if I would have written as x, then the equation will become p is equal to p plus one uh, uh, p is equal to p plus x into size of character, right? Now, but if we are having this pointer, we are having float a comma star p is equal to address of a. Okay, that means p is a pointer which is storing the address of a. So let us suppose this is a and the address is two thousand, and this is the pointer p which is storing two thousand. Now if I do p is equal to p plus two, right? Then this size of this float is four bytes. So this equation will now become p is equal to p plus two into size of float. Because this is a scalar value. What is a scalar value? Scalar value of a pointer is given by the data type. That means what type of the pointer is. That means is is the pointer of character type? Is a pointer of integer type? Is a pointer of floating point type? Is a pointer of double type? So we'll just take the value of uh, we'll just take the um, size of that data data variable. That means if it is a character uh, variable, then I'm going to uh, I'm going to do p is equal to p plus Uh, whatever x into size of character, then it will be multiplied by size of point uh, integer, size of double number, uh, double and floating point number, etc. Okay, so that means we are going just going to increment by the size of that pointer. So here, coming back to this program, here we are having a plus two, right? And the value stored by a is one thousand. So when I am printing a plus two, that means it is now going to in, uh, increment this by two into size of integer. Right, so that is that means size of integers of when the size of integers of uh, two bytes. Therefore, this is now going to print one thousand 
plus 2 into 2 which is equal to 1004 therefore this is now going to print 1004 okay now in the next line we are having but uh, in the previous line we are not actually changing the value stored in the, at this uh, pointer a okay we are just printing that increased value okay in the next statement we are having star of a plus 2 so when i am having star of a plus 2 that means because of this star I'll go to the location which is pointed by A, right? So the location pointed by A is 1000. So here uh, the star means star of 1000 plus 2 which is equivalent to the value stored at the location 1000 is 0. So that means 0 plus 2 which is equal to 2, okay? So I'll just write it clearly here. So this is now going to print the output as 2. This statement is going to print the output as 1004. This statement is going to print the output as 1000 okay now in the next line we are printing the value stored at the index location 2 right so the value stored at the index location 2 is 6 therefore it is now going to print 6 so this statement will print 6 okay in the next line we are having a plus 4 so when i am doing a plus 4 that means i am incrementing the i am printing the increased value of a by 4 into scalar uh, scalar multiple of a so it is a plus 4 means a plus 4 into size of integer here right so that means the size of integer is 4 uh, 2 bytes therefore it will become 1000 plus 4 into 2 so this is now going to print 1008 so this will print 1008 okay in the next statement, I am doing star of a plus 2. So this is the complete star. There is a difference between these two statements. Okay. So when I did star a plus 2, that means uh, this star is only associated with this a, but here this star is associated with complete this a plus 2. Right. So this statement is now star of 1000 plus 2. And when I'm adding 1000, uh, this 2 here, that means I'm multiplying it by the size of integer. Therefore, this statement will become star of 1000 plus 2 into size of integer, which is 2 bytes. Therefore, star of 1000 plus 4, that means star of 1004. And the value stored at the location 1004 is 6. Therefore, this statement is now going to print 6. Okay. Now, in the next line, we are incrementing P by 2, right? So, for example, initially P was pointing to the base address that is 1000. Now, when I did P is equal to P plus 2, that means I am going to increment it by the scalar value of integer. That means the statement is equivalent to P is equal to P plus 2 into size of integer. So, which is 1000 plus 2 into 2, which is 1004. Therefore, P is now going to print at the location 1004. Therefore, P is now point pointing this location 1004. Okay. In the next line, I am doing star p. Star p means I am going to go to this location 1004 and I am going to print the value stored at the location 1004. Therefore, it is now going to print 6. In the next statement, I have star of p plus 1. That means this star is only associated with this p. So, star of p plus 1 means I will go to this location 1004, take the value which is 6 and I will do 6 plus 1 which is 7. Therefore, this is now going to print 7. Now the next line, this star is associated with the complete statement p plus 1, right? So in this statement, it is now going to print star of p, which is 1000 plus, uh, sorry, this is not 1000, because p is storing 1004. So star of uh, 1004 plus 1 into size of int, right? So this statement is now star of 1004 plus 2 which is equal to star of 1006 therefore we will print the value stored at the location 1006 therefore it will print 8 okay now take uh, some more examples here 